Hey, what's happening, guys? My name is Saurav, and welcome to another video for Albert Solutions. And this video, I'm going to talk about how you can fix Wi-Fi issue that Wi-Fi is not showing in your Windows machine after the recent Windows update. So, to fix this issue, all you have to do is that just go to Control Panel here, like in you know, the Windows search bar here, and just type Services. And here in the Services under the Service section here, all you have to do is that uh, you just have to search for a specific service like a LAN service here. So once you go to the like services here, type like WLAN here. So here, once you go to the WLAN here, you will get you can see it over here like it is on disabled mode here. So double click on it and here like just click on the startup type and just choose automatic. So this startup uh, type is basically so whenever you start your machine, this service will run automatically. And here now click on apply. So here like on the startup type, just choose like automatic here. And now just click on apply. So once you click on apply, so the service status is stopped. So just click on start. And now the service basically getting started. Now click OK. So we have done with the first step. The next step is basically just you just have to jump into device manager. So on the Windows search bar, just type here like device manager. So once you hit the device manager, here you will can you can see all the like drivers or like whatever installed in your machine here you just have to go to the network adapters so once you click on network adapters you can see all the like uh, network adapters present in your you know connected to your machine and all if some of the network adapter is not coming here all you can do is that basically just click here and you just click on action and then here click for uh, scan for hardware changes once you do that like whatever you know like the rest hardware basically is connected to your machine that would probably visible here and now the next step is basically you just need to update those driver so like i'm using some sort of like uh external you know wi-fi receiver and all so that is something which is not coming here because i'm using a sandbox here in order to display, show you all the steps so but for you if you because since you are uh, running all the you know hardware and everything like on your local machine so you would probably see all those options so all you have to do is that just right click on it and then just click on update driver so once you do that basically just search for automatically for drivers so if you would get some sort of driver update just click on update and the, your driver will be updated uh, successfully and then you should you would have like the latest driver now so now the next step is basically uh, this is the final step guys that is basically you have to follow uh, is that just you know uh, shut down your computer this is the final step and this is a very important step here shut down your computer and remove all the cords like you know if you are if you're using la laptop or something remove battery as well just you know remove power cable remove battery from your laptop and press power button for 10 seconds and once you do that like whatever you know uh, once that is done, just reconnect the battery, you know, and just restart, you know, uh, start your laptop. And similarly goes for same goes for uh, if you're using computer like a desktop machine, remove all the cords and then, you know, press the power button for 10 to 50, uh, 20 seconds and then uh, start your machine. Your issue will be resolved. So this is how you can basically fix the issue, guys. So that's it for today, guys. I hope this video was helpful to you. So do not forget to like and subscribe. I'll listen to and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye bye.